Hi, my name is Naomi Joy. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a challenging full length rebounder workout for you. We have two cardio sections and two strength sections and I'm going to be using a set of dumbbells. I'll be using a set of fives. Nothing too heavy because we are working with high reps. Each exercise is going to be performed for 50 seconds followed by a transitionary break. Now in the cardio sections, I want you to challenge yourself. I want you to keep moving. You're going to see what's coming up next. I want you to be either pressing down into the trampoline, getting grounded with your basic bounce or practicing the next move with me. Of course, listen to your body. You are the boss and you can take breaks at any time. In the strength section, 50 seconds is gonna feel like a long time. It's gonna be challenging and I designed it that way. So just do your best and each time you come back to this workout, you're gonna get stronger and stronger. Before we rock and roll, to support my channel, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you ring that notification bell so you don't miss my next workout. Let's do this. Today I'm gonna to be working out with bare feet. Feel free to wear shoes if you feel more stable. Let's start with a warm up. Arm crosses. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Switch which arm goes on top. Your focus is squeezing your shoulder blades together at the back. Now we're going to flex the knee four times on one side. Warming up the knee, do the other side. And let's take two pulsing squats at the bottom and pulse at the top for two. Push your hips behind you. Legs are open externally, knees are going out slightly. I'm hinging from the hips, chest is lifted, weight is in your heel. Make sure you squeeze that booty each time you stand. Now our basic bounce, there's a slight hinge in the hip, so my upper body is leaning forward slightly. The knees are always bent. Belly is strong. You're gonna start with your left elbow drawing back and then right. Squeezing the upper back, palms are facing down. So you'll notice that I'm not jumping high, I'm rooting down. That's the workout. Big circles with the arms, warming up the shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades together at the back of the movement. Side stretch to one side, switch. Finding that squeeze in your upper back, our first move is coming on up. Here's our first move. Let's start practicing it. We're going down into a pulsing squat and then we're popping up at the top, squeezing our shoulder blades together. Here we go. So remember, the workout is pushing down into the trampoline. Powerful, strong legs. As you sit into that squat, get your weight into your heels. And we're always being careful that our knees are never collapsing in. You want your hips, your knees, the center of the feet all tracking. Good work, we're starting strong. Just so you know, our first cardio section is about 13 minutes long. The second set is slightly shorter. We've got high kicks and we're reaching from the sky, pulling down and engaging our lats. I'm going kicking forward for two and out for two. In these kicks, lean back slightly. Keep your belly strong. If you feel too unstable, you can always just keep your knees bent. Think about engaging the muscles underneath the armpit each time you pull down. These are your lats. Continue to push down even on one leg. Keep the standing knee bent. We're kicking to the side, engaging our side booty. 
Make sure on your standing leg that your ankle and knee are stacked right underneath your hip. Staying grounded through the standing leg, soft bend in the knee, give me lots of energy in the arms. You got this. Challenge yourself, keep pushing down into that standing leg. We are switching sides, so right away let's transition, get the movement on side two, keep your knee bent. As you kick to the side, focus on squeezing that side booty, point your toe, shoulders are back and down, and you're pushing all that energy right into that standing heel, squeezing that standing booty as well. This one's kind of hilarious, but really fun. So your hips are open externally and you're focusing on engaging through your side body, through your obliques. Stay grounded into the trampoline. Try and match with my timing here. Find that beat, push it down. Make sure that your abdominals are strong so you're not arching your lower back. And remember, this is all about the side body. Squeeze those obliques. We have a double heel tap next. My legs are wide, I'm externally rotating the hips, and each time I lift my leg up, I'm flexing my foot to protect the knee. I did four here instead of two. We'll get back to two, there we go. Now if this feels too challenging for your flexibility, you could just tap the top of your knee. Let's keep those arms strong and high in that high V shape. And think about your core, your obliques, each time you're moving across your body. Good work, this one's fun. Come on, push it down, push it down. Stay with my timing. We're getting warm now, feels so good. Side to side skiers, legs are in parallel, your knees are bent, you're going side to side, and you're squeezing your shoulder blades together as the arms pull back. Think about pushing down through the center of the heel, and you want to be careful that you're not collapsing your knees in. Hips, knees, center foot all tracking, hinging from the hips chest is lifted and you're engaging your upper back each time those arms pull back. Come on, let's get low. We have double kicks next. 
Point your toe. Squeeze your lower belly each time you kick. To modify, you can keep your knee bent as your leg lifts. If you find that your heart rate's getting too high throughout the workout, you can always just drop the arms. And if coordination is challenging, always get the feet and legs first and then add the arms. Now it's time to party. We're doing a hip twist. Keep your belly tight and twist your hips side to side. Find my timing. Arms are going down and up. So with this one, make sure again that your knees are not collapsing in. You've got that nice strong bend in the knees. You are pushing down into the trampoline. So the stronger you become, the better workout you're going to get. You're going to have more endurance and you're going to have more strength to be able to push down into that trampoline and to keep my tempo. Nice. Keep it going. You got this. I love this move. Have fun with it. Now we have a super fast jack coming up next. Legs are in parallel. I'm keeping my elbows bent and I'm focusing on pressing down and picking up that speed. Let's go, come on. Beautiful, don't give up. Keep pushing down, squeeze your inner thighs as the legs come together. Keep your shoulders back. Remember that we're in that slight hip hinge, so the upper body is forward, chest is lifted. Keep pushing down. I just want to feel alive, boy. We've made it to our last two moves of our first cardio section. You're going to be doing two kicks front, two kicks side. Use your arms. Lean back slightly. Keep your belly strong. Come on, let's go. Continue to push down into that trampoline. We've made it to our last move. We're sprinting next. Now I want you to challenge yourself and go as fast as you can. Push down into the trampoline. Get those knees up. Use your arms. You can do this. Come on, a little faster. We're so close. We're going to need a little break after this. Moving on to strength. Come on. So close now. We're in this together.
thinking about side to side, lowering your heart rate. We're gonna get a little break. You're gonna grab some water. If you need more time, you can always stop the video. Keep your feet moving and we're gonna be meeting for a plank. Our first strength move will be a wide-legged plank going down, down, up, up on the forearms and then the hands. Your focus is to keep your chest and your hips square to the ground. The legs are wide, the core is pulled in, the glutes and legs are strong. You can modify with your knees on the ground. In these planks, be mindful that as you're pressing into the trampoline with your hands or forearms, you're pulling your shoulder blades wide on your back. Your core is pulled in and we're avoiding arching the lower back. Side forearm plank with a lat pull down with the upper arm. Place the bottom elbow underneath your shoulder. Modify with knees on the ground. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Your belly, your glutes, and inner thigh are all engaged. You imagine that you're pulling down a resistant band, engaging the muscles underneath your armpit on that upper arm. The bottom forearm is pressing into the trampoline and your shoulders are away from your ears. We're switching sides. Keep your hips high. Remember to squeeze underneath your bottom armpit and press down through the bottom forearm. I like to exhale as I'm drawing that top elbow into the roots. Good work, you're almost there. into an L arm switch next. Thumbs are pointing up, shoulders are externally rotated. You always want to be really mindful that your shoulders are back and down before you lift your arms. Bend the knees a little bit, push your feet into the earth, keep your core tight. Keep your chest pointed forward and it's just the arms switching sides. Now to challenge your strength, we're gonna keep the arms hovering up and we're switching. Just do your best.
We have a lateral raise and lunge next. You're going to be stepping forward with your right leg, left leg back. Thumbs are pointing up. As you lower down the arms, lift to shoulder height. Make sure your shoulders are back and down. Tuck your tailbone under, your belly is firm in that lunge. Make sure that your hip, your knee, and your center foot are all tracking on your front leg. Remember that 50 seconds is a long time, so just do your best. We have a total of four different moves on this right leg, and then we switch. Staying on this one side, you're going to flip your palms up, bringing the arms out in front of you, and you're pulsing in that lunge, going as low as you can. The back knee is bent, your tailbone is deeply tucked under, and you're engaging through your lower belly and your back glute. Keep your wrists straight. More challenge, your arms are straighter. Good work. Tricep kickback next. You're leaning forward, reaching back through your back leg. Your shoulders are down and back and you're extending from the elbow. Squeeze through the back of your arm. Hold for that moment. Think about lifting through the back of your head and keeping your belly tight. Our last move on this side is going to be a straight leg booty squeeze. Standing knee is soft, back leg is straight, keep your belly strong. Place your hand on your back glute, make sure you feel your muscles squeeze. You want to avoid arching your lower back. Standing knee stays bent and you're reaching long through your back foot. We are going to repeat those exercises starting with the L-arm switch. Remember to focus on keeping your shoulders back and down. This is a sneaky core exercise too. Make sure that your chest is not twisting with the arms, but you're keeping your chest and hips facing front. Now we're gonna challenge ourselves, and we're switching side to side. Just do your best. Little micro bend in your elbow. Ground through your feet.
lunge with a lateral raise. You have your left leg forward, right leg back. Thumbs are pointed up. Breathe out to lift your arms. You're looking forward, chin in. Practice having excellent shoulder alignment in this exercise. We're gonna get super low on those legs, pulsing up and down, and your palms are facing up, arms in front of you. It burns. Hips are square forward. Look at your front knee and make sure that it's not collapsing in. Hip, knee, and center foot are all tracking forward. You can do this. forward we have tricep kickback shoulders are back and down and you're squeezing the back of your arm make sure you hold for a moment at the back This is our last move on this side. We have a straight leg booty pulse, lean forward. Point your toe. And then bring your hand to your belly and then onto your glute and make sure you feel these muscles engaged. So if you're arching your back, you're not gonna be engaging your glute properly. So be really mindful of your core activation. Keep squeezing that booty, you're almost there. To finish off our strength section, we're coming to a forearm plank and we're tapping our toes out and in, alternating sides. Start with your legs squeezed together tight. You can modify with your knees down or just hold a basic plank. Each time you come through center, squeeze into your midline. And as you tap to the side, squeeze the side booty. Focus on keeping your hips and your chest square to the ground. Press down into the trampoline with your forearms and round the upper back. Good work, you're so close.
Our first strength section is complete. Let's get back on that trampoline. We are back for our second round of cardio. We have nine different moves to get through. We are starting with quick feet going in and out. Knees are bent, shoulders are back and down. Now I want you to focus on speed. In this move, I'm barely lifting my feet off of the trampoline. That's how I can move my feet so quickly. Come on, pick up that tempo, you're doing great. A little faster, almost there. Our next move is a punch and kick combo and you're going to be punching with your opposite hand to leg. Going into side two. Double bounce jack. Squeeze your inner thighs together each time the legs come in. When you're bouncing, you want to be mindful that you're not rolling or favoring one side of the foot. Think about equally pressing down on all four corners of the feet. There will be a little bit more weight in the heel when our knees are bent like this. High kicks. You can always modify this one with knees bent. And it's not a big deal if you can't touch your hands underneath your leg. Keep your shoulders back and down, chest is lifted, and each time you lift your leg, pull in through your core. Keep that beat. You're doing awesome.
Your left leg is your standing leg and you're tapping your right leg out and in. Make sure that your hip, your knee and your ankle are all in one straight line on your standing leg. Imagine that you're reaching resistant bands from the sky and you're pulling them down, activating through your back. Keep the standing knee bent. You should be able to see your toe. You got this. Keep going. Legs are burning. I feel ya. We're switching sides. Guess what? We have two moves left. Squat jumps and sprinting, my favorites. Get yourself set up for your squat. Hips are rotated externally. Now just do your best here. Try and keep moving. If you're losing your form, just do a squat without the jump. As you land, your weight is in your heels, your knees are going out and your chest is up. As you jump up, feel your shoulder blades hug together and squeeze the back of your arm. Come on, we're in this together. Challenge yourself. You are so strong. We're going in and out, but most importantly, I want speed, so you can always just focus on keeping your legs in. We have 80 seconds. Oh, I'm evil. 80 seconds and we're done. Keep pushing into that trampoline. Don't give up on me. Every time you come back to this workout, you're going to get stronger and faster. Nothing's going to stop you. So close. We did it team. My goodness, I am so sweaty in this video. I hope you are too. Keep jumping, lower your heart rate down. We have one final strength circuit. We're gonna be coming into a bridge on the ground. So make sure that you're not huffing and puffing. Take more time if you need it, you can stop the video.
elevated bridges next. This is a fantastic exercise to tone your booty and your hamstrings. If it's too intense for you though, you can always have your feet flat on the floor. I have my heels on the bar of my trampoline. Depending on your rebounder, maybe you want to put your feet flat on the trampoline. Make sure you don't twist your head, keep your gaze up. Shoulders are back and down, chin is in. Press down into your feet and squeeze your glutes. Tuck your tailbone and pull your lower belly to spine. I'm choosing to have the legs hugged together so my inner thighs are working as well. And in these elevated bridges, focus on keeping your shoulder blades on the ground so you're not lifting super high. This is just gonna help you stabilize your lower back more. Coming into teeny tiny pulses next. Keep your low belly strong. Shoulders away from ears. Good work. So just so you know what's coming up next, we're going to have a single leg bridge on each side after this. Then we're moving to core. In the single leg bridge variation, focus on keeping your hips level. Avoid twisting the pelvis. Keep your belly strong. Squeeze your standing glute each time the hips thrust up, pushing down through the standing foot. Make sure that your hip, your knee, and your center foot are all tracking on the standing leg. If this is too intense, just do another elevated bridge with both feet on the platform. We're switching sides. This one really burns. I know you can do it. I felt this for a couple days after I filmed this video. We are finishing this workout with core work. So I'm going to lay on the trampoline. You could also do this on the ground. Focus on pulling your belly button to spine. Hands are behind the head. You're doing little tiny pulses. Focusing on pulling your belly button in each time you lift the shoulders up. Hands are at the back of the head. Elbows in the peripheral vision. Chin is slightly tucked. So I'm hovering my shoulders up and I'm doing tiny pulses. However, if this irritates your neck, you could go down and up slow, relaxing the neck each time you lower the shoulders. 
So we're never yanking on the head, the hands support the head and the head is heavy in the hands. Look at your core and focus on pulling that belly down each time you breathe out. Let's give our neck a break and focus on our lower core. You're gonna squeeze your legs together and you're doing a big circle alternating directions. Focus on keeping your lower belly hugged in so you're never arching your back. And to modify this, keep your knees bent and just make your circle smaller. Press your shoulders back and down and continue to breathe into your back and side body. We are setting our core on fire. Your legs are squeezed together. Reach your arms overhead, curl your shoulders up. Focus on breathing out each time you come up through center, pull the belly button to spine. You can modify this by bending your knees, placing your hands at the back of your head to support your neck. You can do this, keep squeezing your legs together. have only two more core exercises before we're done with pillar workout. You can always stabilize your neck by placing the hands at the back of the head. Keep your belly strong. So if you feel any discomfort in your lower back, take a break, bend the knees, make it a little easier for yourself. Deep breathing. This is it, my friends, our final exercise of the day. You should be very pleased with yourself. You've made it this far. Lower your legs as low as they go. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Pull in through your belly. Keep looking at your core. Hug it in. Just do your best. Amazing work today. That was intense. Please stick around for a short stretch. Your body will thank you. We'll start laying on our back for a hamstring stretch. Hug your right knee into your chest and extend your leg to straight. Flexing through your foot, stretching your calf. Allow the bottom leg to be heavy. 
breathe into your back. Start to circle your ankle one direction. Go the other way. Pointing and flexing your foot. Switching sides, first hugging your knee to chest, straightening your leg, relaxing your shoulders. Circling your ankle one direction. Switching directions. Figure four glute stretch next. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Gather the bottom leg in. Make sure that the right foot is flexed so the inner ankle is smooth to protect the knee. And press the outer blade of your foot into your thigh for a deeper stretch. Switching sides. Breathe into your back. Relax your face. Acknowledge your hard work today. You should be really proud of yourself. We're gonna make our way up for a lunge next. Step back with your left leg, right leg is forward, knee over ankle. I'm bringing my opposite hand down. And then pull in through your belly and you're twisting towards your front leg. to the trampoline we'll step back oh we'll come into actually a high lunge here so we're going to reach the opposite arm up and you're going to reach over to the right side and now we will release and switch sides left leg is forward to the ground. Left arm lifts up. You're twisting towards your front leg. And now building your way up, hands to front thigh. Right arm lifts up, and we're gonna lean to the left side for a lateral stretch. Reach through your fingertips, square your pelvis, breathe. Release. Let's sit down on the trampoline. We'll come to cross-legged, and we're gonna stretch our upper back. Open your arms up, palms up, and place the right elbow under the left elbow, reaching up for the top thumb. Actively press your forearms together, lift the elbows up, and gently pull your shoulder blades wide across your back. Breathe into your mid-upper back. Soften your face. 
open the arms and switch left under right. Release. We'll clasp the hands behind the back to finish. Interlace the fingers. Open your chest by squeezing the upper back. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And we are all done. Thank you so much for working out with me today. To support my channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and make sure you comment below to let me know what you thought of the workout. I'll see you soon.